Now that you've decided to buy your J. Higgins kilt, we have some hints and suggestions to ensure you measure correctly for a perfect fit. To measure your navel, stand straight, lift your arms, and point to your navel. Once level, you want to tighten by a quarter of an inch on the tape. To measure the ledge, raise the arms again and slide the tape down about two inches to the ledge of the hips. This is where the straps of the kilt hang on the body. This is also where men normally wear their pants. For the final horizontal measurement, slide the tape measure down around the hips at the widest point, approximately eight inches. Be sure to take a few measurements to get the widest part. This is a loose measurement. Here are some things to avoid. Remember, keep the tape level. No angles. Also, do not measure over belts. Don't leave your wallet in your back pocket and no cell phones. Now we're going to take the length measurement of your kilt. Starting from the ledge, take the tape down the side of the body to the knee. Determine the top of the kneecap with the one finger and the bottom of the kneecap with the other finger. Find the point in between those two measurements and that is your length. Give us that measurement and we will then add the two inches of rise. Remember, stand straight and have someone else do the measuring. Every day that we sell a kilt, we say, do not give us your pant measurements. This is because there's something called vanity sizing. If you look, this pant is 36 inches on the label, but we measure it out, it's 38 inches. You cannot do this and have your kilt fit. 